While you're designing your logo, you have to keep in mind that it's going to represent your company or product, or in this case, your band. So every aspect that goes into it has to be something that reflects your band's personality. Let's take a look at how we can achieve this. So the three things we're gonna talk about when we talk band personality are rules of the genre, attitude, and the band personality itself. Now first, rules of the genre. When I'm talking about rules of the genre, I don't mean if everybody does X, you need to do X too. I mean be aware of the rules of your genre so that you know what you're getting into. Something like the How to Promote Your Band logo follows the rules of our genre. And in this case, I'm not necessarily talking about a genre of music, but this entire How to Promote Your Band series. In this series, we're talking about doing everything yourself because in the beginning, you're definitely not gonna have enough money to spend on hiring a, a really talented graphic designer. So the spray painted imagery is very do it yourself. And of course, we're talking about music. So one of the most distinct uh, images in music is the thought of someone smashing a guitar. Um, from Hendrix to various punk bands, Nine Inch Nails, this is a concept that is universal throughout recent music history. So this logo lends itself really well to that. More so especially than say, if we went with this logo. This logo is a little bit more humorous, has a more lighthearted attitude to it than the previous logo where we're smashing a guitar and spray painting what we want to spray paint, wherever we want to spray paint it. Now that's not to say that if you were a punk band, you wouldn't use this logo, but you would do it knowing full well what everybody else is doing and knowing that this is what you want to do to set yourselves apart and your attitude in the band would be reflective of this logo. Which also brings us to band personality. If you guys are a more lighthearted, humorous punk band, let's say you're more of like the modern day punk than the old school punk running around with mohawks and such. Uh, so you're, you know, really well dressed, you wear nice thick glasses. This could be more your style. It's a little more lighthearted than your I haven't showered in 12 months and I live in the London Underground punk. On the other hand, if you're coming up through the rap community, something along these lines might be a little more your style. As you can see, the logo has a little bit more of a street edge to it than our previous logo. And obviously you can see right here, uh, there's a dude getting ready to blow your head off. So this might be something more along the lines of, you know, I'm a tough street gang kind of dude. Got a little bit of style in there because he's wearing a tie. But the logo, we've used the gothic logo in the how to promote part. Uh, a little bit more classical, rough edged. A lot of people go with for this style of lettering as a tattoo. And of course, tattoos throughout time have been symbolic of, you know, I'm a guy who's usually more associated with the rough biker kind of tough guy and then of course you know, we have your band in uh, like a street handwriting sort of style so something like this might suit you a little better if you were into rap it's certainly not going to get you any hits on the love song chart unless your love songs are really really good when we talk about attitude uh, one of the genres that always displays attitude is metal and this logo right here I'm going to throw a shout out right now to uh, Meztone you can see his stuff at Meztone at DeviantArt.com. Let's just go over here real quick. Take a moment to check this out because this guy is fantastic with lettering. Meztone.DeviantArt.com. If you guys have a chance, I highly recommend you check out his site. You look here, this guy has some serious style when it comes to doing lettering. So if you're hurting for ideas, check out some of his stuff. Send him an email. I'm sure he'd be more than happy to help you out. Maybe even design a logo for you for a fee. And, uh, I don't know. Anyway, thanks to Meztone for this fantastic font that we're using here. This particular one, uh, my personal preference for the layout and the how to promote, I would probably drag it down here. And that's just because when you come up here, it's a little too far away from the logo itself. And the more we bring it down, if the B from band weren't cutting right into the O and the R here and promote, then that would be okay, but here your band is going to feature more prominently, and that's kind of the way I would go with this one. <clears throat> if you imagine running this logo, if you imagine running your hand over this logo, this is going to be rougher, jagged, uh, it's going to be probably dig into your skin, hook it, cut you in a couple of places, and this is kind of the feel to a lot of people of what metal sounds like. There are a lot of dissonant town. <laughs> there are a lot of dissonant sounds, or towns, maybe you live in a dissonant town. 
um, and a lot of heavier distorted guitar. You don't have a lot of um, smooth melodic sounds in metal, uh, although that's not exactly true. But for the most part, we're talking about people screaming, a really gruff attitude, and this jagged lettering style lends itself more to that. So this is what we're talking about when we're talking about make sure that the attitude of your logo fits in with the genre, but more so fits in with your music and your band personality. Again, there's no reason that you can't use this one if you're in a metal band, but just be aware of what you're getting into, and you may have an uphill battle unless you're doing it tongue-in-cheek. That's all for now. Please remember to comment, rate, Hey everyone, one quick note before you go. This video that you just watched is part of a larger course on how to promote your band. So if you liked what you saw, or if you're just ready for the next step, then click the link right here in the description, and that will take you to the course page overview where you'll see every lesson in the series, and you can pick and choose which ones you want to watch. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below, and if you have any questions, send them to requestsitmahalo.com. Thanks for watching. Without the after effects too, it's like... I mean, with the after effects, you can't tell, but... <laughs> okay.